we are also able to marvel on items from the New York Fair. So right here you are able to see up close the right door from the Cathedral of Gniezdo. That's a plaster in the wood frame and that shows the St. Adalbert's missionary work. He's dead by the pagan Prussians, the buying back of his body and his burial in Gniezno. It was on display in the Polish pavilion. And if you're not able to travel to Gniezdo yourself, you can come to the Polish museum and see it. The two replicas of the Hussars armor, winged horsemen. We do believe that every single Polish man has the wings inside of his soul and it's proven on many occasions and among the collection we also have the permanent display so in the permanent display you're able to see not only the Zakopane school uh, of art and you have many figures right here but also also the gifts that up to this day we are also purchasing but a little modernized than this. We have a church relics, so the different different relics from the churches as the tokens of our collective memory. We have a beautiful jewelry from Polish pavilion and that's for example mountaineer silver jewelry with color, coral beads and what amazes us always when we have a dancers from the Polish schools and from the Polish dance ensembles, they come and they marvel on some of the items that we have and they are real, as well as Highlanders. We're coming here, for example, for the special Highlanders there that we have. So to see the real Chupaga right here, they are containers from carrying gunpowder and also a Chupaga that's carved with the two, no, three of them, two of the fighters in its head. Among them, my personal favorite wooden sculptures from Zakopane School, especially the roosters. Here as well, we have a beautiful violins from, uh, from the New York's fair. They were, they were uh, done for the New York's fair by Dimit Ditchenko Zadunajski. And at the opening of the exhibit that right now we are showing in the Great Hall, they were playing a part because they were restored the courtesy of Walter Pawlikowski, Cremona Strings Instruments, and Mr. Pawlikowski played music selection from the era for us at the opening of the New York's Fair exhibition. More memorabilia, and this one is the tasty one because this one is the Torrent gingerbreads, also prepared for the New York's fair. And take a look, this sailor sailing ship with all of the with all of the fish. And you have as well. We are waiting for the conservation of those this year, and I hope that it will happen and, and it will be a wonderful thing. We have a, a, among the melusina, that's the siren with two tails. And right now it's a logo of a very famous coffee shop place as well. If you see and you think about what we have as a memorabilia, we have a glazed clay pots. That's a school of powder of Kolomea. They were made in 1889 and the nation who were using them, it's truly scarce. We don't have a lot of them after the Second World War, but the clay pots are still with us. You can see right here uh, beautiful tables of the New York's Fair with the eagles, st stylized eagles on the sides. And here are the items, archival items displayed from the New York's Fair exhibition. And on this particular, you are able to see the conserved one and the one awaiting conservation. It's a difference in the factor, in the color, and in the gold involved in both of the eagles. And the ceramic toys used 
as well as the palms, and those palms are from uh, Vilno. They were carried in the procession, procession of the Easter. And the ones that I love the most, they are very fragile. Pisanki, the eggs that you can see in the form for the batter and the form for the for the bread, for the Easter bread, as well as it always helps us to come here and to marvel on those. We have special uh, workshop for the how to make a pisanka in front of every Easter, usually done a uh, day before the Palm Sunday. And over the time, so many years, we had an artist who wanted to recreate those pisanki, and it looks like the 16th chapel effect. Here they are, because of the time, they are all of the brown colors and they were recreated with all the vibrant colors. And something for the ladies. When you see, you can play with one of them. I don't know if that's what happen right now, I just hope for it. When you are, because it's a plexiglass, you there start dancing. So you can dance with the Krajka at the Polish Museum. Take a look. We figured this particular magic trick when we were here with some of the dancers enjoying not only this particular krajka, but also the beautiful material parts of those. Pecinanki, the saints. Some of the saints were already conserved, so our Saint Florian, it's conserved here in his purple coat and as well as Saint John the Divine and the rest of them are waiting for the conservation we are applying for different grants to have that conservation happening and we came to the corner of our great lady Sabina Felix Alogir she was given the, by the Minister of Culture Golden Gloria Artis. I was here when, when it happened. And this is her portrait, working here for 69 years, teaching us many aspects of American life, being called the Encyclopedia of Polonia and connected with us. She would be this year 114. Among the other collection, thank you, Pani Sabino. Among the other collections, we have uh, Stations of the Cross from the first Polish parish in the United States, Panna Maria, Texas. And in the moment of need, we are able to marvel at the artwork that's so connected with our history in the United States. And if you would like to pray, you can do it as well. The whole is tied together by the sculptures from the New York Fair. So here we have Maria Kiris Kłodowska statue that reminds us of our wonderful Nobel Prize winner and a great lady to follow. And a person that we are all drawn to, John Paul II. We have a display, permanent display of the memorabilia of John Paul II who was here at the Polish Museum twice as a cardinal, Karol Wojtyła. And we have one of the first colorful photographs of his visit. So you are able to see right here a great hall differently, differently stylized. And people from the history of the Polish Museum, Josefina Kania Piegzik, the great painting of Kazimierz Pułaski at Savannah and Cardinal Wojtyła listening and then speaking at the Rotunda at the Polish Museum of America. So he came to us in September of 1969 and then in the 70s. And especially in the moment of needs, we we are able to uh, be with his 
signature and with the different memorabilia that we have on the other side. Here is Piusca Zucchetto and it was given to uh, Bishop Abramovic and then donated to the Polish Museum because for the second time John Paul II returned to Chicago in 1979 as a pope.